Hello Green Fingers! Welcome back! If you are new to this channel and find this video interesting, consider subscribing. Click the like and share this. And I'm not a gardener expert. I just want to share with you based on my experiences as a plant hobbyist. With that said, without further ado, let's get started. Alocasia Nicolitziana Friedek is a cultivar of an evergreen tropical plant in the family of Araceae. There are 79 species of Alocasia plants that grow on the forest floor of tropical rainforests. And the Friedek cultivar is a native to the Philippines. The green velvet Alocasia grow faster in bright light where it can grow up to 3 feet. The large arrow leaves grow on the end of stems that grow from rhizomatous or tuberous roots and it grows as a tender perennial outdoors under the right condition being in the native to tropical climates how to care this alocasia friday grow the houseplant in bright indirect sunlight and in a well-draining porous potting mix and water the green velvet plant whenever the top of soil is half inch uh, dry and miss the leaves regularly to raise the humidity maintain even temperature between 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Alocasia Friday growth rate in a warm, humid, bright condition and Alocasia Friday produces new leaves every few weeks. The older leaves turn yellow and die off and these are replaced by new growth. And Alocasia Friday growth go into dormancy in a cooler temperature or the plant rest. Usually leaves will turn yellow or drop without new leaves replacing them. The best soil for growing alocasia friday is best in a light potting mix that has excellent drainage, 50% of peat moss, 30% of perlite, and 10% of worm casting for alocasia retains enough moisture and yet drains well to prevent the soil from becoming soggy. The goal of creating soil mix for alocasia plants is to have plenty of organic matter without it, it becoming too dense. So it's ideal to have peat moss or and perlite to allow excess water to drain freely. To increase drainage include bar chips, coarse horticultural sand, and charcoal beads. You can tell if the alocasia soil isn't draining correctly when water pools on the surface or drains slowly through the growing medium. So make sure the temperature is right. If you keep this indoor, the temperature even between 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius, 29 degrees Celsius. Keep out of cold drop and away from hot air vents to prevent stressing. Alocasia growth, green velvet, alocasia thrive in a high humidity between 50 to 60 percent and to keep humidity levels high enough indoors, miss arrow shaped leaves every day if possible. You can grow alocasia fry deck on a pebble tray hot filled with water. Humidity helps prevent the leaves from turning brown and it's also a good idea to wipe the leaves every week with a damp cloth. The moisture from the cloth helps to hydrate the leaves and cleans them from any dirt, dust or Grind. It also needs to be adequate humidity because dry conditions can attract spider mites. And how to fertilize this? With regular fertilization during growing season, you use a balanced houseplant fertilizer that is diluted to half strength. And fertilizing alocasia pride deck once a month, healthy grown, avoid over fertilizer. To boost foliage growth, you could also use a high nitrogen fertilizer for indoor plants, okay, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium such as 10, 4, 3, encourage leaves to grow well. If possible, use organic fertilizer for a tropical house plant. Like I said, I use banana peel. I always sun dry it um, for two days and then mix in the soil. And adding nutrients such as fish, emulsion, worm castings, compost, prevents root burn from building up of mineral salts. Since uh, I acquired this plant last August, I just allow it to acclimate in our place and I didn't repot it yet because this is my first time to take care of Friday. I make sure that she will thrive in our place first and acclimate it. When you repot uh, Friday, make sure that it is root bound already. Since it was new, I think it was just repotted by the uh, seller. I did not repot even it's a plastic uh, pot that she used. Maybe next year, I will repot it when it's root bound already. And it says that only repot the plant in springtime if you see roots poking out. 
from the pot's drainage hole. Other signs that it's time to repot alocasia are slow growth or poor drainage or soil that quickly dries after watering. Choose a pot for your allocridic that is 1 inch larger than its current one. Remove the root ball and gently untangle the roots. Check for signs of root rot and trim disease roots as necessary. Replant in a new container. Thank you and God bless. Stay safe. Happy planting. Bye.